Welcome viewers to another tutorial. This is really to help people out who are using unbelievable shaders but want to customize it to exactly how they like it. A lot of people find that at night or even during the day it does make it a bit too dark. I'm hoping I've changed it up enough that it does look quite a lot better. And a lot of people find that the motion blur is too high which will also show you how to set down so it's more reasonable. Now viewers, I am assuming you already have Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders installed. If you don't, you do just open up your .jar and put in Optifine, and then copy Unbelievable Shaders to your .minecraft folder and run the installer. It is that simple. Now to customize it, you go into your bin folder and open up the minecraft.jar. Once you've done that, you look for the final.fsh file, which you can open with Notepad. Now this is where you do all your customization. In fact, most of it can be done right here. The rest is a bit more advanced and you can actually break the Minecraft if you do start editing some of these things. Now it is rather simple. To reduce motion blur, just reduce this. If you want to set it to my value, I have it set to 1.1. Now there are these other values which can help the darkness issues. Reducing gamma will actually make everything lighter. Increasing this value will increase saturation which will make all the colors in Minecraft a bit more vibrant and probably look a bit better. And then there's these values, Dark Multiplier and Bright Multiplier. Basically the Bright Multiplier makes brighter objects brighter, while the Dark one will make the darker objects darker. Now one way to make everything a little bit brighter is rather easy. All you have to do is increase the Bright Multiplier, but decrease the Dark Multiplier. Therefore all the darker colors will be slightly lighter, while the brighter ones will be even brighter. Now that should be all the customization you will want to do, but there are a whole heap of other things that you can get into that I haven't even started on yet. So you might want to just fiddle around with this file and see what your Minecraft starts looking like. So that's all for today, Stray Mav signing off.